Hey guys, so what is this? A cooking video. I know you wanted to see more cooking videos from me since I used to do them all the time in my former life. <laughs> Pre-kids, pre-husband, a lot more time on my hands, but I need to make this anyway and I thought why not film it? What I usually do is make a keto casserole for Daniel. He's on the keto diet because of his diabetes. And um, I make it and then he takes it for lunch for the full week. So I've kind of got it down to a science. I mix it up and I'll kind of tell you how as I go along so that you can see what I'm talking about. I based it off of a recipe I found on Pinterest, but to be honest, it is probably so far from the recipe that I don't know that it'd be worth it to include the link. I have some prep to do. I buy olives in a big pack like this. And I used to have glass jars that I would put them in and I don't know where those are now. So I just put them in Pyrex bowls with lids on them. And then I need to chop, <laughs> chop green onions that I rinsed that obviously are not very dry. I'm leaving that in. Uh, so you'll see me do a little bit of prep, otherwise most of the ingredients are out and available. So I hope you enjoy. I hope the angle's okay. I hope you can hear me okay. I have the camera bent down pretty funny. So these bags I buy at Costco and they're really reasonably priced compared to buying canned sliced olives. It's been a little while because I, I like to stock up, but I think one of these bags is maybe $4.99. And it's important to make sure you get the brine in the bowl because the olives, according to the package, need the brine to really stay um, fresh, I guess. I don't know if fresh is the right word, but I'm gonna over pour these because um, I'm gonna use them in the casserole and then I will get them kind of sorted out so that I can put the lids on. I just didn't wanna use a third bowl. I don't think I'll need it. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna set the olives to the side for now. Got our mixing bowl here. I'm gonna go ahead and chop my onions now as well, just to get that out of the way. If you don't wanna watch me chop onions, go ahead and skip ahead, but I'll try to chit chat and keep it interesting. With green onions, I like to chop them ahead of time and then put them in the freezer. And then that way when I wanna use them, I just pull out a handful at a time. And I find it works really well. I like to add green onions to like scrambled eggs. Um, if I make rice bowls, I'll put them on that. Um, with this casserole, you know, you could certainly leave onions out, keep onions in. I'm really, really lucky that Daniel is not that picky when it comes to this. You know, he just likes me to make it. There have been times where I'm too busy and don't get it made and then he has to kind of make do with other stuff. And uh, so, makes him happy when I can make this casserole. I will be using uh, grilled chicken, which I will show you that. Uh, but I have also made it with shredded pork, shredded chicken, ground beef, you name it. The girls are in daycare today, so that's nice. My job, I'm lucky that I don't have to keep a super tight schedule. It's, it's honestly more like part-time, like literal work, although I'm on call. Um, and so that allows me to have some flexibility in my schedule and have time to film more videos. 
depending on how things go, I may invest in a microphone. Um, I think when I'm sitting at my desk, you can probably hear me fine, but when I watch this back, I'll see how the sound um, sounds. I kind of want to invest in one anyway, because if Daniel's ever in a video with me, he is a mumbler and he also just talks low anyways, low, not slow. And, you know, I've talked to him about it, but you know, it is who he is. So even if he tries to project his voice, he's not always going to remember. So if I get a microphone and he's on a video with me, we'll definitely mic him up and he's okay with that. He knows that. He's actually considering starting his own YouTube channel. I think he technically has one, but I don't think he uploads consistently or, or has in a long time. But he likes to go exploring. He has an off-road vehicle um, that he goes exploring with. And um, yeah, he likes shooting. You know, he's got a gun collection and enjoys shooting out in the woods. So if he, if we get a mic, he would probably take it on his adventures if he decides to start seriously shooting videos for his YouTube channel. I'm not gonna link it below right now because again, I don't think it's anything he might have like maybe two or three videos right now, so eventually. Okay, so that's good for now. Again, I'm gonna leave those to the side. Okay, I washed my hands. It'll just go in the bowl. So first up is chopping the chicken. So I buy these at Costco and what it looks like on the back you're gonna think I'm weird and I'm sure this isn't maybe like the, the healthiest or the most economical but it's really convenient and it works well for our family I am paranoid about cooking raw chicken in the house right now and the reason I say that is because number one I'm still getting used to the girls being back in daycare for a couple months they were home 100% of the time and it was really hard to cook or it is really hard to cook when they're home. So I'm always afraid that I'm going to splash chicken juice somewhere or they're gonna accidentally get into the garbage can which we do have child safety stuff everywhere but they're three and one and a half and especially the one and a half year old likes to get into stuff. Um, her latest favorite thing is getting in the dishwasher, which is very frustrating. Um, so I just don't want her to grab something that has raw chicken juice on it. So this works for me for now. I feel better about it. Dan doesn't mind. This type of chicken would actually be great on a lot of things. I mean, you could make a salad and put this on there. Um, you know a stir fry it's it's pretty mildly flavored although it has that grilled flavor i believe costco does have chicken strips like this that are not grilled they're just cooked or maybe lightly grilled and they last a long time in the fridge too we have a fridge downstairs so i do a lot of um like stocking up clean hands now the fun begins I'm going to add diced green chilies. This is just the mild flavor, or mild, mild ones. Um, mix that around. I'm going to go ahead and grab some olives. I'm just gonna use my hands. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. That was the large can of the green chilies. Gonna add green onions and then I'll also do green onions on the top. Bacon crumbles. 
from Costco. I'm just using my hands. Sorry if that grosses anybody out. I'm gonna put bacon on top as well. There is this chipotle sauce. This is pretty spicy. Um, and Dan doesn't, like, doesn't mind some spice, but I'm just gonna put that much in there. Okay. So next up, cream cheese. I like the whipped kind just because I don't have to deal with a brick of cream cheese. Um, getting soft enough for me to stir. The whip is already pretty soft. I have also used the chai flavor. You could, I mean, you could use the garden vegetable flavor if you wanted to, but uh, plain works good just because I am putting a lot of seasoning in here. So I'm going to use this whole thing. And something that um, the original recipe that I followed called for was a mixture of cream cheese, mayonnaise and sour cream. I have since cut out the mayonnaise just because it felt like it was an extra step and Dan said without the mayonnaise it didn't really taste that much different. I am going to add some whew, sour cream. And this is his favorite sauce. I get it at Walmart. Uh, Chipotle kicker. So I'm going to add some of that. I'm gonna mix this up a bit. And then once this is mixed through, I may need a stronger spoon. Um, I'm gonna add shredded cheese. I'm just gonna wait and add it in just a minute because I wanna make sure the cream cheese gets mixed up a little bit throughout. Forgot to heat up the oven. Does anyone else store pots and pans in their oven? I hate it, but we don't have enough cupboard space here. We do have a den that's right off of the kitchen dining area that I have a pantry set up in, but it's full of stuff too. So, oh, I need Marie Kondo in my life. And I'm not saying that as sarcasm, like, I would really like to work on paring down how much stuff we have. Okay, so I'm gonna wash up. Okay, on to the cheese. You know, any shredded cheese will work. Whatever you wanna do. We use a Colby Jack mix from Winco. I'm just gonna shake some in. Oof, messy. Okay. That's looking about right. That's about the level of moisture you want on your chicken. I have, thinking about different variations. Actually, before I tell you that, I'm going to clean up a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a 13 by nine. And I'm just gonna spray it with this avocado spray. I think I got that at Costco. I'm going to get a spatula. And dump it in. It's 
So the oven is preheating. I've got it set at 375. And I'll probably do this for about 25 minutes or so. The way I always know it's done is when the cheese on top is um, bubbly and starting to get a little bit brown. And then you've also got bacon and green onions and olives that I'll put on the top as well. Just do a coating of cheese. Some olives. Some onions. A lot of onions. Some bacon. Sometimes they have these in there. So beware. go wash up okay so I'm gonna bake this in the oven for about what I say 25 minutes or so and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done okay so here's how it looks let me grab another pot holder and I'll hold it up to the camera and there we go Okay, I'm sweating. It's 90 degrees outside, but we have central air, thank goodness. And, um, but the oven's on and I'm running around a little bit, so it's hot. I was trying on clothes. I bought some uh, clothes for summertime and honestly, nothing fancy. I don't know that you wanna see a clothing haul, but down the line, maybe I'll do clothing hauls. But again, thank you so much for watching and um, if you try it, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want me to do these more, let me know. Thanks.